You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast by Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom, Dr. Frederick J. Long, Dr. Mario Melendez, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, and J. M. Smith. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom, and in this episode, I'm doing a Hebrew reading. We've been working through the book of Jonah, just verse by verse and word by word. And today we are at Jonah chapter 2, verse 6. Now, again, I'll remind you that when you get to the end of like Jonah 1 and the beginning of Jonah 2, the versification can get a little wonky depending on which Hebrew and or English versions you might be using. So please pay attention to that. But we're at Jonah 2, 6. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the text here up on the screen I'm going to read a cold. We'll look at it, the verse in its entirety, the entirety. Then we'll go word by word and then the verse in its entirety again. And I want to stress one more thing. Read out loud, whether that's you reading with me, like as I go along, whether that's you repeating after me, or whether that's you just waiting until I'm done and then reading out loud yourself. Whatever works best for you, make sure you're reading out loud. It's a very important key toward the goal of fluency. All right, so here we go. If you are watching, I'm going to show <clears throat> the text up here on the screen. And if you're just listening, that's fine too. You'll still be able to hear it. But it'd be good if you can see it as well. So here we go. All right, let's get the first half of this verse. And it looks like this Afafuni <clears> Mayim ad nefesh tehom. All right, let's get the next bit. All right, then we have um, Yesoveni Suf Havush La Roashi. La Roashi. All right, uh, let's go ahead and look at each word on its own, and then we'll come back to this. So here we have Afafuni, Afafuni. Uh, you have this word starting with the Aleph. Some will uh, teach treat that as silent. I'm going to actually do the Ah sound. So we have Ah, and then the Pe with the comets uh, beneath. So Ah Fa, and then we have Pe followed by the um, Vav Fu, and then Ni. Afafuni, Afafuni, Afafuni. Um, I'm not sure if the stress falls on the fu or the ni, afafuni. So we'll just leave it like that, afafuni, 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 afafuni. I'm not sure. All right, then we have mayim, mayim, mayim. Next we had ad nefesh, ad nefesh, ad nefesh. Mayim ad nefesh tehom, 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 the deep. And then we have ye sov, ye sov veni, ye sov veni, ye sov veni, ye sov veni, suf, suf, ye sov veni, suf, tehom ye sov veni, suf. Ha, bush, or ra- rather, chavush. Forgive me, chavush. Ha, it's got that chet with the comets. Ha, and then the bet with <clears throat> no adagash, no nikud. So chavush, chavush. Le ro ashi. Le Roashi. Now we have the Lamed here. Um, and then we have the Ro. And again, some people will take the Aleph as silent. So they would say something like Le Roshi. I'm going to say Le Roashi. Roashi. Le Roashi. All right, here we go again, the whole thing. So we have. Afafuni mayim ad nefesh tehom, and then the next bit. Yesuveni suf chavush le roashi, and that's it. Jonah two six. 
All right, make sure that you practice reading out loud. Again, it's vital, it's critical, it's important. Don't skip it, make sure you do it. All right, read out loud. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'll say I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.